Hello everybody, welcome to a challenge, I wanted to try out a little background info first. One could argue that as weapons become better, so too does their durability. Using this logic, the stick is the most powerful weapon to ever be added in vanilla Minecraft. This will be my weapon and tool of choice today, and I humbly ask you to accompany me on this stupendous journey where we try and beat Minecraft with just a stick. Here are some rules. I can only use a stick as my main tool and weapon aside from shears for leaves, and any TNT I find is fine too. I can use buckets as much as I please, and I can craft items with anything I find in the overworld. Environmental damage, including fire and lava, is allowed, but I'm not going to rely on that. And also, there's no dying. We get one life. With that out of the way, let's get started. We find that our spawn places us in a wonderful jungle biome. Gotta find a helpless little piggy running amok and put an end to its meaningless life. After that wholesome activity, I grab myself a few logs to be able to place a crafting table later on. I continue running through the jungle until I stumble across a desert biome, and better yet, a village. My hopes are high that iron will be found here, and- oh. No, never mind. Bread is good too, that'll work for now. I grab myself some flint for flint and steel later on and smell some cows over yonder. I put an end to this lineage and continue about my day. It got dark outside and I got a little scared, so I made a boat to keep me company and rode along the river until a skelly boy was just downstream. I quickly got out and took a power nap to ease my anxiety and continued rowing right past him. He wasn't a very good shot, don't know why I was so scared. Found myself at an ocean and it was the dolphin boy swimming below. I gave him some nummies and they led me to the remains of a cruise ship gone wrong. I looted the sunken vessel and obtained some iron. Then I made myself a bucket and a hat and took off to find the buried treasure. I managed to dig it up on my first try to get a whole bunch of goodies. These gold ingots will be useful for getting ender pearls from piglins when we head to the nether. I made myself some tummy protection with my newfound metal bricks and oh, would you look at that, another shipwreck. After looting the forgotten trinkets of the dead, I went searching for the next buried treasure, which I totally didn't find on my first try this time and got myself more gold and iron for the journey. I made myself some uncomfortable metal pants and continued towards a village I saw in the distance. After raiding the entire village, I only found bread and cactus, a disappointment to be sure, but I saw yet another village nearby. Really quickly, I found a temple nearby too and decided to check that out real quick. I managed to find a golden apple, some more gold ingots, and a couple diamonds. Finding nothing but garbage in the new village made me sleepy. So I decided to take a nap in a sandy cave nearby until morning. I saw another village and made my way towards it. I managed to find tons of good loot, and I'm just kidding, there's just more bread and more cactus! After doing some field yoga to calm my nerves, I went into the ocean again and stumbled across yet another sunken cruise ship. Trust me, these are definitely cruise ships and not normal ships, I can tell. This one had a buttload more iron in it, but that's about it. The real treasure was yet to be unearthed, and oh boy was it unearthed. We struck the mother load in this one. I was walking along the coast and spotted yet another sinky boy. I looted that wreck and got away with even more ingots. And a wallet full of emeralds. I dug up the treasure and, well, you know the drill now, let's skip ahead. I finally found a surface pool of lava and this skelly boy just wasn't having it. I decided to slowly yet mercilessly beat him to death with my stick. Then this zombie tried to get in on the fun and I just bumped him into the spicy water and he went away. I slept until morning and built myself the nether portal using this pro speedrunner strat, which is the only thing that makes this run even possible. I hopped inside and this is where the run starts getting difficult. Within Hades' domain, we stumbled across some piglin traders, of which would have definitely killed me had I not distracted them with shiny rectangles. I managed to get four ender pearls and a whole lot of nothing else. I need some blaze rods to turn these ender pearls into eyes of ender and actually progress, so I set out for another fortress. And after quite a bit of walking and jumping over a sea of lava, I found one. This wither skeleton gave me a huge heart attack, but luckily he didn't touch me. I then began to slowly but surely whittle down blazes using my cheap tactic of footsie until I felt that I got enough blaze rod. Then I was super scared of staying in hell for too long, so I went ahead and went back to the overworld. Back in the overworld, I I found another village. Unfortunately for me, their chest contained nothing more than disappointment. After buying some comfort food to make me feel better, I decided to start converting these pearls into eyes to find the stronghold. After running for what felt like miles, I decided to hunker down and hunt Enderman at night. After searching for Enderman almost all night, I found some at this village here. I made my cheese roof and began bashing at his cankles. In due time, I was rewarded with one precious Ender Pearl. I kept trying to locate the stronghold and I think I got pretty close, but I ran out of eyes. I decided to wait until nighttime to hunt more Endermen, so here's a cool time lapse. I noticed I had an ender pearl on me already and used it to finally locate the stronghold. After spending a few days mining through the stone with my trusty stick, I broke through into the beast slayer. A friendly little creeper greeted me upon my entrance. After wasting 25 minutes searching for the end portal frame, we finally found it. Unfortunately, I was 10 ender eyes short of even activating the damn thing. I decided to tunnel upwards to create a sort of beacon in the sky to remind myself of where it's located. Then I journeyed back down and created another nether portal in the stronghold. It was time to get more ender pearls, and the best way I knew how was to visit the warped forest biome and struggle for a solid 45 minutes to get enough pearls. I nearly died many times, but thanks to my constant supply of bread, I managed to stave death off until I could obtain the holy 10 ender pearls. But there was a problem. I needed to farm blazes again to get enough blaze powder too. So off we went to the blaze spawner once more to play footsie until we got another rod. And then we were ready. I crafted all the eyes, inserted them into their respective slots, and decided to go to the surface and gather more food and blocks before our big fight. 
After spending a few minutes re-gearing ourselves with Namis and Blocks, it was time to face the biggest challenge yet. We need to fight and defeat the Ender Dragon using only our trusty stick as our source of damage. I took one last deep breath, kissed my non-existent wife and children, and leapt into the portal. I instantly made a beeline for the first obsidian tower in front of me. Scaling it as quickly as I could, I managed to break the first crystal in under a minute. I took a risky leap and cushioned my fall with a well-placed bucket of moist. And then I climbed the second tower just as fast as the first. Two crystals down, but there was no time to relax. Every second I wasn't bashing the dragon's skull in was a second I could attract Endermen and meet my doom. I bridged across to the next tower, with the monster flying below me, a constant reminder of the fate I'll meet were I to fall. I made it to the third crystal, and poked it with fervor. Just a few more to go and we could begin damaging the dragon. I bridged it across and broke the next crystal, and again with the next tower. Might I take the time to remind you, I haven't beaten the Ender Dragon legitimately in the past, let alone with just a stick. I want to make this moment one to remember, one that villagers would tell their family for generations. The legendary stick boy is what they'll write in their stories and folk tales. As I approached the next crystal, the anticipation building, I gave it a solid thwack, and just like that, it was destroyed. I had four more crystals left. Quite a few opportunities for the dragon to smack me in oblivion. As I bridged across once more, I felt a surge of confidence and leapt to the next tower. With the power of the moist bucket filling my toes, I decidedly struck down the next crystal. The dragon shot one of its projectiles at me, causing me to dive off in the hopes that my bucket would save me once more. With my height advantage removed, I began building upwards once more. I snuck my stick between the iron gates and poked the crystal hard enough to cause an exothermic reaction, releasing the demonic energy stored within and breaking the crystal. The dragon was running out of sources of healing, and the odds were slowly turning more in my favor. At the next crystal, with another mighty swing, I shattered the exterior shell, causing an accelerated implosion. One more crystal remained. As I scaled the last tower, sweat dripping from my diamond helmet-clad forehead, I could taste something other than bread for once in this run. Victory. It was so near, so close, just at the edge of my grasp, yet it was still so far away. I came face to face with the last crystal, and put an end to its ignorant support of the demonic dragon once and for all. This was it. It was just the dragon and I. Save the hundreds of endermen that swarm this dimension. It was time to eradicate this force of evil with the ancient weapon of purity, the stick. I began building myself some protection. Were endermen to begin swarming me now, I would surely meet my end. This would protect me not only from the endermen, but also from the dragon's projectiles. Now all I needed to do was await its descent to begin my attack. But look, it's landing right now. Now was my chance to put on display the true power of nature. So anyways, I started blasting and bashing the dragon with my stick. I managed to damage it greatly for it never foresaw the weapon that I would be bringing into its domain today. However, near the end of my relentless assault, it launched me into the air. Panicking, I grabbed my trusty bucket of moist and had one chance to cushion my fall or perish. Of course, my bucket would never allow such a fate to befall me and it once again saved my life. After avoiding the Ender Dragon's attempts at ending my run, it decided to land once more to meet me face to face, a mistake that would spell the end of its life soon enough. I continued my onslaught of smacks, nearly destroying my mouse in the process. Just like that, another third of the dragon's health had disappeared. It began to feel the painful stings of my legendary weapon. I quickly consumed some bread to restore my injuries, and awaited the final descent that would declare me the victor. Down it came and the excitement filled my veins. The overwhelming strength that flowed through my body was indescribable. These were the final moments. The end was nigh. Clicking so much that I almost gave myself carpal tunnel, the dragon's health continued to drop. I can only assume that I've damaged it so badly that it was unable to flee, and the last moments of its life began to play out in slow motion. With one last attack from my stick, the beast fell. We won. We beat Minecraft with a stick. Thanks everybody for watching, this is a different style of video than I usually make, but let me know if you enjoyed. And if you're new here, I'd appreciate your support by liking the video and subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Make sure to join the Discord server if you haven't already, we're planning on expanding that and getting our own Minecraft server running soon enough, where we can all hang out and play together. Once again, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!